What is up guys, my name is Gabe. Today we are talking about a girl with the longest name in the Guinness Book of World Record. I kid you not, this is not clickbait. The award is titled, The Longest Name to Appear on a Birth Certificate. Pretty straight to the point. But let's do our own little award system. We're gonna do the Guinness Book of Gabe Records. We have the longest name in the comment section and the shortest name. I want you guys to comment down below just your first name, not full names, I don't wanna do that. I just wanted to try it for fun. I say we get in the video now. Here we go. We can't pronounce her name, but we can tell you it has over 1,000 letters. We had to create a special graphic for her name. Take a look. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if I had to choose between Elon Musk's kid name of or this name, I would still choose Elon Musk. Rahashandiatelinyesh. See, that's as far as I could go. And I'm not even past the first line. Her birth certificate is two feet long. I just want to give you guys a little visual. This is 11 inches right here. A piece of paper, 12 inches in a foot, so pretty close to it. Two of these, almost two feet, a little bit under it. But even this could not fit her entire name. I just want you to look at my body and look at the size of this. Is this not crazy to anyone else? She has the longest personal name in the world. I would hope. Hey Google, what is the world's longest name? According to Wikipedia, Wolf plus 988 Senior, Hubert Blaine Wolf plus 585 Senior, and Hubert Blaine Wolf plus 590 Senior, among others, is the abbreviated name of a German-born American typesetter who has held the record for the longest personal name ever used. So you're telling me there's someone out there with a longer name than hers? I had to make sure that her name was gonna be unique. I just wanna know why. Like I see she's excited and that's awesome, but I think a big part of that's being on Oprah and having this achievement. But do you think every day she's super excited to introduce herself like, Oh, what's your name, Stephanie? Oh, Jesse? Oh, what's my name? What is her name? I went and got water and she's still going. We're only at her middle name? Oh, okay. That's it? Am I being punked? Like, can you even legally name someone that long of a name? There's got to be some law against it. Did they pass some kind of law after this? I hope. law in Texas where you can only name your child the amount, uh, a name that fits on the birth certificate because they have to make one for her. She could probably get away with saying random names every time. She could be saying, like, one day, like, chicken nuggets, and then the next day, Jacob. Who's going to know the difference? Her name had to be different and I had to be in the Guinness Book. But what happens when you go to apply for a job? I always think about this, it's such a weird concept that our parents are the ones who come up with our names, yet we're the ones who have to say them at all times. Like, we have no say, because obviously we're not born yet. But in this case, you were named for a Guinness Book of World Records. If you're born with that, I feel like you should be able to rename yourself. Once you complete the record, change the name. You are eventually going to have to go to apply for a job and... Yeah, I guess. If she would ever have to speak in front of people, her entire speech would be just her first name. And so, do you have other children? Yes, I have four boys. Uh-huh. Like what are their one names? Word names. <laughs> <laughs> one is Rodney Larkin Sandra Shaquille Tavon, and one is Prince Michael Rochelle Sandra Shaquille Tavon, and one is Ishmael Malik Sandra Shaquille Tavon, and my oldest is James L. Williams. <sighs> Why do I even try? So, how long did it take you to come up with this? Six years. Six years! I've heard of people spending like two or three years narrowing it down, spending the time there, but you didn't narrow down anything. If anything, you just took every name you ever came up with and then put it all together. And then here we are today. So when you all were teaching her her name, when, you know, like babies are just kind of learning their name, they're learning, what did you teach her? We had, I had to say it on a tape and then let her listen to the tape like you listen to a song. The idea that you had to record her name in order for her to learn it should be a red flag in itself. And how is, is it like a fun thing having this name? Yeah, you get to go everywhere and miss school and then you, but you gotta make up the work, so. All right, class, I'm gonna do the attendance and then we're gonna start. Jacob. Margaret. My name comes out here, can you Devon? Oh, okay. That is about the most unique thing I've heard lately. I've never been so grateful for my name. The first shout out for this week is the positive comment of the week. If you'd like to be featured in a future video, all you have to do is comment something cool or an achievement in your life. That person this week being Taylin, who's going to be moving into our first house. Congratulations, that's going to be an exciting step for you. And just keep in mind that no matter how long you think it's taking, 
the amount of time that this woman takes to say her name still is longer. The second shout for this week is also a positive comment, that person being Faith, who said that she made the flag team for her school. Congratulations, I can never do that. I'm not coordinated at all. I hit the flag with my face and that'd be it. Everyone, have a great day. I'm feeling very motivated right now. I don't know why. I mean, the video wasn't like a motivating video, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'll talk to you guys next week with the new video. Peace out. Oh. Goodbye.